Just as the girls' program at Destrahan has a new head basketball coach, the same is true of the boys' program. And another person with significant experience and success on his resume taking over at Destrahan. And it's great to welcome the new coach of the Destrahan Wildcats boys' basketball program, Troy Green Sr. And Troy, great to have you with us. Congratulations on the new job. Hey, Ken, thanks for having me. It's my pleasure, of course. We all know about you as a player. Look, I saw you play back in the day in the 90s when you were at White Castle. And you're a heck of a player. And then at Southeastern as well. And saw you there when you were part of a, a conference championship team as well. And and then, of course, you know, being in the New Orleans area, you didn't get to follow White Castle that much. But uh, you've had success in, in coaching. So I guess the obvious question, what attracted you to this job? Well, uh of course, I've been listening on, and one of the things about uh, you know coming to Destrehan is the fact that it's a great school district. <laughs> First and foremost, uh, you know, being able to kind of move and, and move your family there. I have you know little young kids, and I think they're listening on right now. <laughs> Angelique <laughs> Troy Jr. and Annalise, hello. <laughs> but uh, awesome, you know, just kind of. Being in a good school district and a good competitive league, you know, that, that that always attracted me. And, you know, moving up to the 5A ranks, that's one of a goal of mine, a goal of mine. You know, at White Castle, um, state championship in football, Verante was there, and, of course, in basketball, a couple of state championships as well. So uh, you're coming from a school that's had success at its level, and you've had success. So I'm sure there's some things that you take with you to Destrehan that you will impart there as well. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, one of the big things at White Castle, of course, you know, a good 1A tradition, uh, you know, but I, I had a chance to follow a, a guy that, that in my in my eyes, I have a Hall of Famer in Ronald Johnson, uh, one of the best to ever do it. But, you know, I learned a lot from him and kind of learned a lot from every coach that I, I, I've been around. You know, you take a little bit from all of them. But, you know, good discipline is, is the main thing discipline and you you have a kind of pay attention to details and, and treat things you know like it like you're preparing for the state championship every day <laughs> you know that's that's one ma- major thing that we try to do visiting with the new head coach of the Destrahan Wildcats Troy Green and, and Troy Destrahan you go into a program it's interesting when you talk about Destrahan athletics I I mentioned to Jen Miller of course they won a girls state championship undefeated in 2017, but the boys' basketball program hasn't won a playoff game in a long time. The football program's been tremendous there. So what's it going to take to to get the mentality, to get the attitude, to get the thought process and the program up to the level of what's happened with other sports at Destrahan? Yeah, well, you know, I just think, I think the athletes are there, you know. Obviously, they're there. Uh, you know, just trying to get everyone on the same page, and uh, you know, football, basketball, every everybody. You know, just try to get participation from all of the school. You know, all of the students. You know, that's that's, that's the main thing. Get everybody out for everything. With a good football program, the concept of two sports stars comes to mind, and we've seen that uh, in that abundance really across the state with football players who play basketball, who play it well. Now, at a 5A school, you don't need as many because of the numbers, and yet I'm sure you buy into that as well. You wouldn't mind having some good athletes who also play football, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm going to tell you, man, I'm so excited because I get a chance to be around, you know, big 5A football because I'm a a huge football fan. (laughs) But uh, absolutely, man. I mean, I'm – of course, me coming from a one A program, I, I you know I don't I, I don't mind sharing that. That's just my you know that, that's my my thing. You know I I think that it helps the student athlete playing both. You know. I agree, and you've got a, a really good guy, Marcus Scott, taking over the football program and a friend, and I'm sure he'll be cooperative as well in that regard. The other thing, and much like I talked about with Jen, is you're stepping into a district that's highly competitive and. The River Parish football component is is such an interesting dynamic because there's so much passion uh, in the River Parishes, and Destrehan has played several of those schools, played St. James, you know, in football, and play Lutcher, of course, and 
obviously play the schools in your own district, which is uh, obviously a, a challenge in itself. There's tremendous passion for athletics, period, in this particular district. Absolutely. And, you know, just in the past, kind of playing those teams, even when I was at White Castle, uh, paying attention to those teams, man. It, it, you know, up, all the way up the river and down the river, it, it, it's, it's a huge passion for athletics and sports. And I love it, man. I can't wait. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to uh, to get in there. And, and you know, Death Strand basketball kind of caused our niche into the whole thing. Indeed. And, and I talked to Jen about it, but about yourself, you know, talk, tell the people about what you like to do with regard to how you run your program and how you like to play. Yeah, well, uh, it all depends on the, on, on, on the talent that you have. That's the first thing. But, you know, if, 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 if I could dictate everything, I would love to have a, a, a high energy team that, you know, I, I, I tell you, I'd like to pay attention to detail. You know, we, we, we very accurate on offense and we get after it on defense. You know, uh, that's the main thing. Just, you know, coming from my mentors, defense was always first. It was always the, the, the thing that travels, defense travels, even when you're not scoring the ball. And I know that's, I always laugh with my buddies that, you know, I played ball with. I was never a defensive player, but <laughs> I've turned out to be a defensive coach. But, you know, that's how we live and we learn. <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> do, do, do as I say, not as I did, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, visiting with Troy Green and the new head basketball coach at Destrehan High School. And, Troy, when you look at the landscape of what's going on with the pandemic right now, as I talk to Jen about it, it's obviously a concern not knowing what's going to happen. The good news is basketball has a few months before you really start ramping things up. So there is a little bit of time where your sport is concerned, right? Right. It's a little time, but – uh, it's so much up in the air right now, and you know, it's we don't know. It's, it's nothing is certain. You know, all we can do is just kind of pray and, and ask God to help and, and kind of take care of us, man. It's just it's just unbelievable the times that we're in right now. But uh, main thing is just kind of be being up front with our student athletes too. You know, make sure they understand what's going on and. Make sure they understand that we may or may not be playing, but we still have to prepare as if we're playing. But, uh, you know, that's it's uncharted territories right now. It is. And one of the things you said I think is, is really accurate and I also think it's wise is so often you see coaches, the ones that don't succeed, many do succeed, the ones that don't typically try to fit a square peg in a round hole, that is to – try to get the talent to conform to a style, whereas the good coaches are the ones that try to mesh the talent to the style that suits them best. That's what you talked about. You really have to take that approach if you want to be successful. One size does not fit all. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I've been in a in public school my whole career, so you know, I understand that for the most part, you know, you're really not recruiting athletes to, to a style of play like you know, like at a college basketball program, you know, you're a coach, you have a style, you recruit according to your style. Uh, I always have this example, you know, in 2017 at White Castle, you know, we had a team that was huge. We, you know, we had a lot of size, about four or five kids that were right at six, 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 seven. And uh, they graduated and we won it. And then we came back in 2018 with a totally different team. And we played a total different style that year and won it again. So, you know, it, 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 it had nothing to do with the style of play. It was just those kids that fought in and they wanted it, you know, and they, and they played together well. So that's the main thing. You get a good group of kids that that's going to buy in and, you know, do the right things and take charges and all that stuff, the little things, and you're in business. Well, you're going to a really good school, a really good school system, school that values athletics, and I think – you're going to enjoy the experience, and I think they're going to enjoy having a proven winner, too. Troy Green, listen, thank you so much for the visit tonight. Once again, congratulations on 
landing this job, and we want to wish you nothing but success. Thank you. Thanks for having me. It's our pleasure. Thank you, Troy. That's Troy Green, senior of Gestrahan High School.